This lesson explains how to summarise a set of data using quartiles and the interquartile range. We'll start with this set of raw data and when we want to calculate quartiles we first need to put the data in order. Once the data are in order the middle value is the median and the median is a measure of location for the data a typical score or an average. So it's one way that we could summarise the data. Once we've found the median, we can say that 50% of the scores are above the median and 50% of the scores are below the median. So the median divides the data into two halves. When we're working with quartiles, we're dividing the data into quarters. We look at all of the scores below the median and find the median of those scores and this is known as the lower quartile. Then we look at all of the scores above the median and find the median of those values and this is known as the upper quartile. Once we know the quartiles we can work out the interquartile range and this tells us how spread out the scores are from the median. The interquartile range is sometimes abbreviated to IQR and it's the upper quartile subtract the lower quartile. So for this set of data it's 14 take 6 which is 8. And the interquartile range tells us the width of the middle 50% of the data. So we have 25% of scores below the lower quartile, 25% above the upper quartile. And the interquartile range tells us how spread out the scores are from the median. I'm going to work through three examples calculating the quartiles and the interquartile range for each one but before you watch my solutions I'd like you to pause the video and see if you can work out these values for yourself. So here's the data from part A and you can see that I've written it in order. There are 14 data here so the middle value is between the 7th and the 8th scores meaning that the median is actually 22.5 in this case. Remember the point of the median is to divide the data into two equal halves. We've got 7 scores below the median and 7 scores above the median. So to find my quartiles I look at the scores below the median and there are 7 of them and the middle one of those seven is this 17 here. This is the lower quartile. And if I look at the scores above the median, there are seven of those. And the middle one is this 26. That's the upper quartile. And so the interquartile range for these data is 26 subtract 17, which is 9. In part B there are 13 scores and again you could see that I've written them in order. So the middle score this time is the 7th value giving us a median of 11. We have 6 scores below the median so the lower quartile here is 9 and we have 6 scores above the median giving us an upper quartile of 13. Our interquartile range is 13 take 9, which is 4. Finally, in part C, we have 12 scores, so the median is between the 6th and 7th scores, which is 25. The lower quartile is between the 3rd and 4th score, which is 19.5 and the upper quartile is between the ninth and the tenth score 
so 28.5. So you can see when the number of data points is a multiple of four, the lower quartile, median and upper quartile lie between values and they divide the data into equal sections. In this case we have 12 data points so we've got four groups of three data. Our interquartile range is 28.5, take 19.5, which is 9.